hello everybody this is our sixth video for module 4 that is moving load and influence lines in this video we are going to solve a simply supported beam with a udl moving from left to right and the udl is shorter than the span okay this is your given problem a simply supported beam has a span of 15 meter a udl of 40 kN per meter and 5 meter long is moving from left to right draw the influence line diagram for shear and moment at a section 6 meter from the left end calculate maximum shear force and moment so our first condition given us it is a simply supported beam the supports are simply supported so we have a and b two simple supports at a one at a and another at b and the span of this beam is 15 meter so the second condition given for you is a udl of 40 kN per meter and 5 meter long So 5 meter long means it is shorter than our span length of the beam, which is 15 meter, and it is moving from left to right. So we are asked to draw influence lines for shear, influence line for moment, at a section 6 meter. So the section is given. Section is taken as 6 meter from the left end. So section is taken at a distance of 6 meter from the left end. so for this section we have to draw the bending moment the influence line diagram for the bending moment influence line diagram for the shear force then we will find what is the maximum negative shear force maximum positive shear force maximum bending moment so our given diagram okay we know how to draw the shear force diagram for a simple supported beam when a section is given for us so in the influence line diagram for shear force the positive ordinate is l minus x by l that is equal to 3 by 5 and the negative ordinate is x by l and that is equal to 2 by so once this positive ordinate and the negative ordinate is obtained we will be able to find the maximum negative shear force and maximum positive shear force by placing this load this udl at the proper location so this is the influence line diagram for bending moment at the section x is equal to 6 meter so we know bending moment diagram that is influence line diagram for the bending moment has only positive ordinate and the ordinate is equal to x by l into l minus x so by substituting the value for x is equal to 6 and l is equal to 15 we get x by l into l minus x is equal to 18 by 15 now we will see how to find the maximum negative shear force so we know in the influence line diagram the maximum negative shear force is obtained when the udl shorter than the span is placed in such a way that its leading end that is this leading end or the head is placed at c so this leading end is placed at c so that we will find the ordinate under the tail of the udl so under the tail of the for finding the ordinate under the tail of the udl we will use principle of similar triangles so we will take that ordinate as equal to y1 and by using the principle of similar triangles we get the ordinate is equal to 
2 by 30. So now the maximum negative ordinate is 2 by 5 and the maximum sorry and the ordinate under the tail is 2 by 30. Now we will find the maximum shear force by multiplying the magnitude of the load that is 40 multiplied by the area under the load in the influence line diagram that is this area. So this area is a trapezium, trapezoidal area. So our formula is 40 is the intensity of the load multiplied by the area of the trapezium half into base is 5 that is the length of the load that is our base multiplied by the ordinates 2 by 30 plus 2 by 5. We get the maximum negative shear force for this loading condition at a, six, at a section of 6 meter for the simply supported beam is minus 46.66 kilo Newton. Similarly, we will find the maximum positive shear force from the influence line diagram. So, for maximum positive shear force, we will place the tail of the load. So, you can see this is the tail of the load. We can place the tail of the load at the section C. So, after placing the tail of the load, we will find the ordinate in the positive section. So, ordinate is the ordinate under the head of the load is 4 by 15 by applying the principle of similar triangles. So, we got 4 by 15. So, after that, for finding the maximum positive shear force, we will multiply the intensity of the load by the area under the load in the influence line diagram. So, this is the area under the load in the influence line diagram. So, this is a trapezoidal area. So, by multiplying, we get 40 into half into base into the ordinates 3 by 5 plus 4 by 15. The value is 86.66 kilo Newton. Now it is time to find the maximum bending moment. So we know the load, the load given is shorter than the span. So the load should be placed such a way that, so that is our condition. The load should equal should divide this section the load should divide this section in such a way that the ordinates under the tail of the section tail of the load and the ordinate under the head should be equal so this ordinate and this ordinate should be equal Now, how to find this ordinate? So, for finding this ordinate, we need the distance n. So, this is the distance. We need this distance n. That is, how much part of this UDL lies on the left of the section. So, we need to find n. For finding n, the condition available is x by L is equal to N by M. So, x by L, x is our given section, length of the given section from A. L is the length of the beam. N is the part of the load that should be placed on the left of the section and M is the total length of the load. So, by applying this relation, we get N is equal to 2 meter. So, we have marked here n is equal to 2 meter. Now, if n is equal to 2 meter, the portion of the load that should be placed to the left of C is for 2 meter and the portion of the UDL that will be placed on the right of the section will be 3 meters. Now, by applying the similar triangle principles, we will be able to find the ordinates under the loads. So, the ordinates under the loads are 12 by 5, 
and 12 by 5. So, both ordinates are equal. So, this is the condition for obtaining the maximum bending moment at a section. So, now the ordinates are equal. Now, we can find the maximum bending moment. So, maximum bending moment is the intensity of the load multiplied by the area under the load. So, this is the area under the load. So, this area. So, this is the area under the load. So, we have two trapeziums. This is one trapezium. So, we can see this is one trapezium and this is another trapezium. So, multiplying the intensity of load by the area of the trapezium, we get the maximum bending moment as 600 kilo Newton meter. So, that is all. So, we have found how to draw the influence line diagram. We've, uh, so, we have drawn the influence line diagram for shear force and bending moment for the given section. We found the maximum negative shear force value, maximum positive shear force value and maximum bending moment value. Thank you.